I'd like to show you how to manually clean a syringe on the MicroCal ITC system using the software's guided workflows. Move the pipette partway into the clean location. Grasp the rotating assembly of the pipette with one hand, and with your other hand, remove the steel retaining nut where the pedal stem meets the pipette. And click Next. Ensure the load location does not contain a PCR tube. Move the pipette to the load location. It should not be necessary, but have your hand ready to receive the syringe glass. And click Next. Carefully remove the syringe glass using the supplied tweezers. If the plunger motion did not expose enough syringe glass, use the syringe glass removal tool and click Next. Best practice is to occasionally clean the glass syringe by hand as the instrument does not clean the entire inner diameter of the glass syringe. If there are any blockages in the syringe, these should be taken care of before cleaning using the supplied cleaning wire. Carefully insert the wire into the end of the paddle and pass it up through the stem into the syringe glass. To clean the inner diameter of the glass syringe, take the supplied cleaning brush and dip it in our recommended detergent solution and scrub the inner diameter of the glass syringe. Finally, Give the glass syringe a thorough rinse with water to remove as much detergent as possible. Drying the syringe prevents sample dilution and the user may choose to dry it themselves before reinstallation or to perform a cleaning operation using the instrument. And click next. Gently insert the syringe glass into the pipette housing with the syringe's fill port facing the same direction as the hole in the pipette's rotating assembly. If aligned properly, the installed syringe glass should leave about two millimeters of glass exposed. With the retaining nut still sitting in a clean location, insert the pipette into the clean location without fully engaging the clamp. Start to reinstall the retaining nut by turning the pipette's rotating assembly with its threads engaged with the retaining nuts. Move the pipette to the rest location and finish reinstalling the retaining nut. And click Done.